Can you do all your personage? My name's Nick Cage. Yeah, can you do all the impersonations in a row? Cinema verite, neo shamanic style. I think so. I mean, really, it's really it's a question of can you do it? Not getting angry right now, but can you do an impersonation? Can you do it all in a row? Can you do it all in a row? Face off on. Now the secret to doing the Michael Caine voice is that it's the most boomer impersonation to ever get requested. And the bloody fucking boomers, they're all over. They've been asking Master Bruce to become Master Boomer. And I won't bloody have it. Hello, what have we here? How you doing, the old pirate? Chewy, how you been? You still hanging around this old loser? Hello, what have we here? Now in 2020, there's going to be a lot of different candidates. Personally, I pursue, personally, I think that Donald Trump could run on the ticket with the mushroom because he's presented nothing more than a reality TV show with himself as the star. And I think that typically, yes, you could have a presidential ticket with perhaps even three people, Joe Rogan, a mushroom, Donald Trump, and Terrence McKenna. Of course, that makes four, but who's counting? I mean, really, in the DMT dimension, numbers don't function the same. It is Sunday, 2005. We're going to be live for the next 17 hours. I am your host... David Lynch, uh, something I am very familiar with, which is the presence of other worldly dimensions as I slip into transcendental meditation. Blue Rose. Way to go, Coop. Uh, these people out here who are all over doing their thing Try to with the Trump and the people and the gas stations and the juice and the popcorn going crazy races all, all over have to quit and fire them uh, censors. That ain't a thousand pounds of power in front of me. If there's a thousand pounds of ass. That's a thousand pounds of ass I could take all the way into space. All right, all right, all right. I want you to watch uh, my new uh, Netflix show. My wife, Michelle, is coming up with a new show. Uh, it's based around Steven Tyler. Now, you may remember Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. Uh, he sang a song. Uh, it's about a dude who looks like a lady. We'll be premiering that. On Netflix. Very soon. How are you going to do that? And the lights are blinking. I'm thinking it's all over when I go out drinking. Oh, making my mind slow. That's why I don't with the big four. Oh, bro. I got to maintain. Up like me is going insane. Insane in the membrane. It's ain't in the brain! First question is why do the people go to the bathroom that they use when the bathroom is for the genders and the boomers don't have any more? Clearly there is the bathroom on the left and the bathroom on the right. You need to choose please if you've got the junk or not. The feeble fable and the zebra apple. No, no, they're coming for you. No, they're coming for me. Pins on what you mean. No, no, pins on what you mean. No, I've got to save my father. You, too, as well. No, pins on what you mean. E. Eh? So, after dinner, everyone ought to have a cigar. And the rest is history.
My wife father introduced me to something really good, the stogies. And I know now the next question. Being the interviewer, you will say now, you will say now, what does your wife think about the stogies? Let me ask you something. When, when my wife's father has introduced me to stogies, she's not gonna say my father makes a mistake because her father never makes a mistake. So therefore, it is okay. I can smoke stogies in my house. First of all, because her father introduced me to stogies. And second of all, because I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. I smoke my stogie anywhere I want. I don't have to find a I don't have to find a platter place like you. <laughs> wow. Wow. The pig has landed. He's landed. Wow. Three three little pegs. All for you. Up his ass. Wow, outstanding, the lion, the pig, wow, it's crazy, it's crazy. I, I, I was standing in the subway and, and, and there was all these girls and, and, and one, one who was about this tall, uh, a veritable uh, midget, but, but a midget's midget. And and I thought I, I couldn't figure out what to do and 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 she was but she was very hot, very hot. So I put I put her in my pocket, uh, 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 and there was a lot of sand in there, a, a lot of sand, but she was still smoking gorgeous. This tiny little creature, a very small girlfriend. There's a lot of guns, and a lot of truth in my movies. Whoa. Many people would say the world hangs in a balance. I believe that balance hangs upon me. The words that I say speak truth to power, but they also sound the way that they do because of my Hawaiian background. Pay attention. And now I just blew your mind. Whoa. Whoa. Many people could not believe what I was saying, but there's a section in the Babylonian Talmud which is called Baba Sai, and Baba Sai, of course, indirectly refutes the logical propositions, which uh, many of my opponents could not refute in turn in refuting me, and that's because if I talk really fast and I talk to really low IQ social justice warriors, then this, of course, gives me the impression that I can win a debate, and no one can beat me in a debate. Okay, I'm starting a freaking dialogue, okay? You don't like my movies? Frick you. Okay, I'm starting I'm starting a dialogue. That's what my movies are about, okay? Maybe you don't freaking understand that. I'm going to shut your freaking butt down. So you know what? I'm here to shut your butt down and freaking screw your butt to heck and freaking, like, go and be the fart knocker that you are, okay? You're a freaking fart knocker, queer bait, and I don't even care. So frick you and shut your freaking butt up. Frick your butt, okay? Because I'm, a, I'm for, this is freaking Quentin Tarantino movie, okay? And I'm starting a conversation about butts in America and frick your butt to heck.